Man United won, Brighton two, first player ratings of the seasons. This should be fun. Um, in a lot in a, in a loss in the first game of the season. Um, let's jump straight into it, Faz. Obviously, it starts in goal. David De Gea, what does he get out of 10? How many hogs does he get? Three. Yeah? Yeah, three. Just because he's David De Gea, he's been there a while, I give him a three. That's fine. In terms of critiquing his game, on top of that, um, what could he have done better today? Do you... <laughs> Distribu it's all distribution, yeah? It's, it's distribution. Come off your line better. Command your line better. Mm. Just, just do fundamentals of modern day goalkeeping a little bit better, please. Mm -hmm. He didn't even have to do much, really. He didn't have to save any shots today. Two of the goals, one parry, one right in front of him. Just simple stuff, really, David. Three. Do you guys agree with three? Anyone disagreeing with that? Anyone going to go lower? Anyone think that's harsh? Nah, that's all right. I mean, yeah. you know, had the opportunity, long pass from his hands to Rashford, didn't fail. The, the second goal, I think he parries it right into the other guy's uh, yeah. play, uh, straight to him on the plate. And then he kicks the ball out in the first half. Um, four, three. really, yeah, three. Okay. Um, there's no objection from James there, so I guess you, you agree with that. Yeah, yeah basically. Okay. Yeah, three or four. Okay. Um, Marcel, right back, Dallo. Uh, four. Really, really poor for me at times. Did create one or two chances, but yeah, four. Yeah. yeah. James? Uh, probably two or three, mate. I don't think he was good at all. I don't think he was helped with people in front of him not tracking back, but I really don't think he was good today, no. Mm. Oh, it's weird because he had such a positive pre-season where you're thinking, you know what? Under this manager, we we still need more and stuff like that. We're not under any illusion of that, but he himself had played well on that tour. And it's like the first 10 seconds, like he, he literally, it's like he just went backwards straight away. Pre-seasons, pre-seasons, mate. Yeah. It doesn't matter, like at the end of the day, playing, not under the lights, but playing at Old Trafford, like in front of 70,000 fans that are literally, they're going to get on your back when you make a mistake. It's a totally different kettle of fish, mate. And I've said before, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. And if you're an elite level sportsman, you need to perform on that pitch in front of those fans. And he wasn't good enough today. Mm. You agreeing with those? Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll stay with James. Um, Harry Maguire today. I thought Maguire was good. I thought he was one of our probably two best players on the pitch. Um, Although the number's probably not going to reflect that. Maybe like a six. Mm. I thought like, because I don't think we played great as a team today, but I thought Maguire was decent, uh, decent off the ball. Not too bad on the ball. Like, I think people are going to give our team stick on the ball, but there wasn't enough options off the ball. There really wasn't. The movement was really poor from a lot of the midfield and the defence. Um, but yeah, Maguire was one of the best of the bad bunch today, to be fair. Agree with six? Yeah, 100%. Um, I would admit, if, if it's anything, I would go lower, but 100%, mm. one of the best players on the pitch, to be honest with you, Flex. Um, you know, passing was quite good out to Rashford early. Um, and then even just being brave, 1v1s, this time not getting beat. I guess just having the confidence to play, but it was very slow. Just that, and that back line, it was very slow and he was part of that, unfortunately. But yeah, he was best out of the bad bunch for sure. Was the six too high? Six, no, no. no. Very, very fair. Very yeah. fair. He made some good interceptions. He made some good blocks. Um, overall, he kept it a bit tidy and he came out with a statement saying, you know, the partnership is, is, is new for him and Martinez. So considering that, him and Martinez both did, did good. On Martinez, what does he get out of 10? Uh, First I'm, game, I'm, loss, but I mean, new team. Seven. I'd give him a seven. Um, he, he's very good on the ball. Seven? Yeah, I'd give him a seven. Okay. I'd give him a seven. There's room for improvement, but you know why I'd give him a seven? Because this is his first game in Old Trafford and you can see the levels. We talk about patience all the time with players and clearly first game of the season under this manager with these players as well, with a partnership that he's not used to, he's shown me a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. So yeah, seven is very fair. Green with seven? Uh, quite high, I would say six, but 90 minutes of football before that in a pre-season game and then to come on like that, you know, good, better distant passing than, to, than compared to Maguire's. And then, um, but he gave away a penalty. That's why I'll drop it down a little bit. Yeah, Stonewall. Stonewall, I'm saying, um, you know, Danny Welbeck, is a bit unlucky there with that. But a very aggressive in the challenges. Didn't look like he was getting bullied too much with the headers and stuff. Yeah, six. Yeah, five or six for me, to be honest. Mm. Like, I think Maguire was slightly better. Um, I actually thought Martinez was better on the ball than off the ball. I don't think he was great off the ball today. I expected him to be a bit a bit tougher. You know, he's got the title of the butcher. I, I wanted to see a bit more physicality from him. He lost a few 50-50s, mm. few jewels, a little soft in the tackle sometimes. But there's promising signs there for sure. I feel, I feel with Martinez today, for my thing, I, I saw a bit of both of what you're saying. So he's got that reputation as a butcher. A couple of times I saw him nip in, get in, sort things out. Um, there was a chance that we had that came from Martinez um, on the left-hand side, playing a nice little pass into, I think it could have been Bruno or someone else. And then we go on the attack from him, just not hacking it clear. But a lot of times he kind of passes in between the lines from centre-back, which is, which is what you want to see. That he looks calm on the ball. But then a couple of other times it was like, mm, 
Yeah, it's not every division, mate. You gotta, you gotta maybe play a bit quicker than that. But he'll learn. It's his first game. I probably would have went with a five, maximum six. But okay, let's get into midfield. What midfield? <laughs> let's get into the guys in red who are in front of the back four. Um, Fred today. Wow, four, five. Uh, did we cover Luke Shaw? Sorry, mm. Luke Shaw. That one. Yeah. Yeah. I, Sorry, I, Luke Shaw. No. Um, Let's do that quick. Yeah. Uh, th three or four. Really, really poor. Didn't really see him too much in the game. Um, it was shocking, really. Not. I, I was. I was expecting that link. That Rashford Shaw link up. Where was that today? Yeah. It wasn't there at all. Um, you know, I would have started Malasia three or four to be honest with you. Agree with that, James. Yeah, I can't believe he started, to be honest. He's not played since Villa. Yeah. Not played since Villa, so really, really surprised he started. Uh, looked off the pace a bit. I know people hack on at Luke Shaw for his fitness. I don't think that was the problem today. I just think it, like his composure, sure. he, just, he, just, he, just was, yeah, he just wasn't good yeah. today. He just made a lot of poor decisions. Uh, poor on the ball. Some of the corners weren't great as well. So, yeah, not great from Shaw today. Not having Shaw as well today. Was he bad for you? He needs to leave. <laughs> Time's done. No, 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 no. Yeah. He needs to leave. Time's yeah. done. Doesn't overlap. Yeah. Doesn't overlap. That was overlapping, but he doesn't come back. I think the thing that annoys me most about Shaw is that the odd time he might do it, and but he, but he doesn't do it any. I never watched a player more than someone like Luke Shaw, where I always every time I watch him, I feel like he's playing within himself. I feel like you could just keep giving. Where's the rest? Like give me, give me all of it. Thank you very that's much. that's the mean? absolute yeah. perfect way you've put it there. He gives you some, but not all, yeah. and it's not good enough. If Malasia was on the pitch, he would give you a lot more, and, I, and I'm mm. telling you that straight up. And again, a player who's coming brand new, mm. hasn't even integrated into the team yet, and he, you know you he would give more. Mm. It's th these type of players need to leave Manchester United. We'll stay with you, because we accidentally started with the midfield, but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's get to the midfield now. Fred. Today. Two. Absolutely diabolical absolutely diabolical fred gave us moments last season as well considering that absolutely horrendous and he's to play a new role as well um, a, a more important role because that there literally where we're asking fred to play is the position obviously frankie Dion would play if he was here but it's the position that literally sets up your whole attack that six go get the ball are you press resistant can you put it around the corner can you thread it through the lines can you can you stop can you not lose it in that key it literally sets the tone and yeah stinker there is nothing from today's game that told me that this is a player that is under a new manager he played exactly the horrendous football that he played at the start of last season and i am not going to give him anything and say oh but he does this good and that good he did nothing and that that, that shows the difference between a frankie de young and a fred the clear difference two yeah, yeah, I, I was. I said four, three, four before. I'm, I'm gonna go with what Faz is saying. Definitely a two. He doesn't it just doesn't have the minerals required to play this kind of six. Mm. Um, can't, can't. The pressing weren't great today. The simple passes into into the midfield area couldn't achieve today. The shot was a bit poor today. He's got, he's got a lot more to do if he wants to be a starting player in this team. So yeah, two, three. Can't, can't argue from higher than that, can you? You really can't argue with it. You, you summed it up. Press resistant is a key thing as a six in ten Hearts yeah. team, and he's not press be. resistant. Yeah, um, Marcel, the other midfielder, McTominay. Uh, can't drive with the ball. Can't make simple passes. You know, can't even the tackles, even the physical side of the game wasn't good today. Um, you know, had shot, had, just wasn't there. Just wasn't there. He's definitely a never one that just doesn't have the quality. We need an upgrade on these kind of players. We've had we, how many times have we been seeing the same combination and they haven't been successful? That's a three, a two. Which one? Uh, the two. Yeah, yeah. He can't be better than Fred. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was going to say I think he was worse than Fred. So if yeah. you give Fred a two, then okay. potentially McTominay's a one. Like, I really don't think he, he wasn't better than Fred today. And um, people have wanted to see him like as an eight further up. They say that's where his attributes lie and stuff. But today he just didn't have it, man. Like wasn't good on the ball at all. It uh, wasn't good physically off the ball. Like he just didn't bring anything to that midfield at all. So we've got a one over there, really, isn't it? You can't. Yeah. He's another one that needs to leave. He needs to go. Not even not. squad player. No, 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 no. What squad? We ain't even got a squad. Well, not now. I'm just saying, no, no. ideally. No, no, no go, 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 nothing. Go, go, yeah. go, 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 go. Sell him for whatever and get me someone else. I can't be holding him like, oh, these are players that give me something. No, except for that Leeds game where the grass is wet and him taking a picture of his of his ankle saying, yeah, tough game. Other than that, there's nothing. Yeah, he can go. Um, Bruno. Not much better, man. Uh, like two, maybe. Like, 
I just think Bruno is is champagne or, or poop, right? Like, I just don't think you get many average performances from Bruno. Um, I, I got frustrated with him today. He, he seemed to be playing referee, like asking for fouls, Always asking for it. yellow cards. Always so good. petulant, like play to the whistle, man. Like you don't, you're not the referee. You don't decide when the game stops and starts or not. You're there to play to the whistle. You put on a Man United shirt and you give everything till the end. He shirts, tackles, his attitude stinks. People, I know the person next to me wanted him as captain. I just don't see it, mate. I really don't see it. I've got a big issue with Bretton. Really big issue. Was giving him a two and harsh criticism. Yeah, no, I have to agree. You know, when when it's poor, I have to see. Yeah, you, know, you have to call it when you see it. And you know, so it's a two or one today. You know, went back to the old Bruno, rushing things, not patient, was running at headless, headless. It wasn't. There was no organisation to this press. He, you know, at times he was looking lost, no one to defend against. Um, yeah, so it's a two or one today. Um, this was a really, really poor, uh, poor Bruno performance today. Minus five. Minus five. Why does why is it because you know the level that he can play and what his job is compared to the likes of McTominay and Fred? Why they didn't get like minuses and Bruno's like you're, you're giving him you're going in harder on him. He's got a shiny contract. He's got a shiny contract. He knows where his future is. Play act like your future is here. That from Bruno as well, especially he has a big responsibility if we're going to be playing false nine. A big responsibility, not just from assists, but from goals, movement, everything. He doesn't give anything on the pitch. He can't, he can't find anyone. He can't find anyone when it comes to passing the ball, breaking that, nothing. His interceptions today were poor, kept losing the ball, kept conceding a foul, physicality wasn't there. Everything from him was just atrocious. And we know the type of player he can be on the small moments, but this is exactly what I mean. Small moments are not good enough for Manchester United. So it's minus five for him, especially because he's got a shiny contract. Rashford. Uh, ghosted again. This looked like the old Rashford. Ghosted and wasn't giving us commitment. We're, we're talking about Bruno having the shiny contract. This is another player that should, be, should know the standards of the club, should know the responsibilities of playing for this club. And he just looked like he was lethargic again, unbothered, uninterested, you know, wasn't pressing hard enough, had a simple control of the ball in the second half going under your feet on the plate delivery from Ronaldo just tuck this in the net and, and then we deal about whether it's offside or not later you know opportunities to shoot taking too long on the ball the passing was not there I think that's another one performance yeah I think it was summed up with the ball rolling under his feet and going out for a throw right I just think that shows where his his concentration levels are at I just think yeah he's he's not playing good enough we thought he was going to get a clean slate under Ten Hag but if that's what he's going to bring I'm not sure he's got a future at the club, mate. I'm really not. Mm, there's a lot of work for Rashford still to do, isn't there? Um, a one, I think, at best over this side. Minus two. Yeah. We got a striker uh, coach, didn't we? This new gentleman who's coming. I forgot his name. Benny. 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 Yeah, Benny. Yeah, and, 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 and he's supposed to be polishing the, these lot. This. This is no, no, no. Let's be serious. The academy boys. And then again, a player that we know of. He's of high caliber. Doesn't jump for the ball. How how tall is he? Six two. He doesn't jump for the ball. And then we blame David De Gea that David De Gea doesn't distribute. He doesn't, he's, he's got nothing to add. He didn't add anything to this squad today. He didn't add any, any fierceness. He didn't add any shots on goal. Perfect cross comes in. Was it from Ericsson, I think? Uh, or Ronaldo? Someone puts a perfect cross in on his left foot, just volleyed the ball inside. He's literally, the goal is here and he's here. I think that's Bruno put that in, actually. Someone yeah, put yeah, a really yeah. good cross in, put a really good cross in, mm. can't. Should be, it doesn't matter if it's offside. It tells you that you ain't got ice in your veins no more if you're missing one on one with the keeper. And I know, yeah, footballers miss chances, mm. but at this level, we need everything to be going in, if not majority. And on top of that, he had a really bad game. Missing the whole game. Doesn't ask for the ball. When he's going 1v1 with players, he's losing the ball. So, yeah. Someone said earlier, they were like, that, where's that aspect of his game going? He used to be able to get past people. You know, remember that, that famous clip of um, when Aki was at uh, Bournemouth and he flip-flapped him. And yeah, yeah. Like, he, like he has ability and it's like, just since that day forward, it's just, it's just never been the same. It's, it's hard to see because you, you, you really want the kid to just turn it around. But you've got to call a spade a spade, like you said, and, and he's not playing very well right now and hasn't been for, for a long time, for about 18 months, probably more. Um, False nine today. I felt I felt sorry for Ericsson today because it's it's the typical Man United thing, isn't it? It's like we get a player, we wanted them to do well, and the first thing he has to do is play out of position as a false nine at home. Um, you know, um, he, he tried to do his thing, but um, how did you assess his game today? Well, at times I thought it was Bruno that was meant to be the false nine. You know, he's coming to a poor team, and then it just looked like his level kind of dropped today. Um, 
Ericsson found it very difficult to get it's only when he played in the sixth position did he have more time on the ball to spread the ball out wide and stuff but it was very hard for him to get the ball in the pockets or in areas at the beginning of the game it looked like he was playing all right but I don't know I'll, I'll give him maybe a five average you know performance he, he was trying to connect the play at the beginning but Overruled, and and then even his, pre I don't feel like he's a tenacious enough player in, in our defensive third. He's you, not, he's not that type. He's yeah. Just, yeah, he's not. He's not. So he wasn't offering that to us. So five. I thought he was a bit better than that, to be honest. Yeah. I, I'd go with a six. I thought he was our best player, to be honest. Um, I think he is press resistant. I think he's very calm on the ball. I think he offers us something different. He's the midfielder that we want Bruno to be. I think the one that's calm on the ball, the one that like fits the Ten Hag system. Um, his vision's good. Cute little round the corner passes. Left foot, right foot. Left foot, right. He trusts his left foot. Sometimes he's just like mm, boom, fizz it. Have that go yeah. between the lines. Done like plenty of times today, especially in the second half. Exactly. Dead ball delivery as well was better today. So Miles better. Right. Like I know we didn't score from a corner, but for the first time ever in the Stratford end, we we're standing up and we're like, actually, we're anticipating we might do something from a corner. Mm -hmm. You we're know, beating the, the first man. Be good, yeah. And then even Luke Shaw put a couple in like back post, but still beat the mm -hmm. first man. I was like, okay, this could be an avenue that we could score from this season. So yeah, I thought it was a six. Um, six, yeah, five. six or seven, yeah, yeah, six or seven. Can really you cool. see? Can you see? Just quickly on Ericsson, can you see how we can be of value to us when you look at the likes of McTominay and Fred? How bad they are on the ball and, and stuff like that. Is that does Ericsson need to play more games for us? Definitely in that, and in his rightful position. Obviously not as a false nine. I think Ericsson shines if Van der Beek plays with him and not Bruno. That's that, that that's one of the things you know with Bruno and Ericsson together on the pitch. It doesn't work for me. Um, Ericsson with as soon as Van der Beek came on, you could see the little links that they were doing the one touch passes and and. The speed of the game just increased a bit yeah. more um, and that's what he can deliver as well and like James said he's, he's exactly what we want Bruno to be and Bruno can't so Ericsson with more games to come he will gel with the team a lot more the delivery is, is, is going to come and from the corner kicks and whatever and he's got a shot on him as well so yeah he's going to be a really, really good player to look forward to Last one out of it James Sancho Not great again really not great like yeah. It's a weird one with Sancho, isn't it? We spent so long trying to get him and then we got him and obviously he was a star kid, like young generational English talent and he, he didn't settle in straight away. Then he was good and then he dropped off again. I just don't know what I'm getting from him, game in, game out, week in, week out. It uh, wasn't great today, wasn't strong on the ball. He's got this thing where he tends to beat a man and then instead of running off, he, like, he tries to beat them again or he pulls it back and I'm like, just go run, open yourself up. like, And he's just, he does the same thing over and over again. I just wish he'd be a bit more versatile. But yeah, like, wasn't tracking back either two three maybe at best today yeah yeah two yeah three i'd say um you know ghosted for the first 20 minutes didn't see him get on the ball wasn't confident on the ball you know he was complaining that players but you're not offering yourself enough and um you know just just wasn't really that central that we saw in pre-season i really thought he would have come in firing really thought he'd be hungry to play but it was very weird today um he wasn't effective at all agree with that yeah, 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 Sancho, Sa Dalo didn't help him. No. <laughs> as much as we want to say Sancho this, Sancho that, Dalo didn't help him. And you can you can see that there was a bit of somewhat blocker today. There was this some sort of block for Sancho to let loose and play that, you know, Joga Bonito style football that he plays best. And at times as well, there was one chance he had on go on, on goal. Just, just, just take a hit and it goes in or makes the keeper do a save, but he doesn't. And, and you can almost feel like with not just him, but this, this cloud above these players where they feel like the pressure or something gets to them. I don't know what it is, but Sancho didn't, didn't let loose. And for a majority of the game, until I think last stage of the second half, he was missing. We didn't even utilize him. We didn't switch the ball from flank to flank. We just didn't use him. And a lot of the times he was free. We're saying David De Gea, pass it to him, pass it to maybe uh, Maguire and Maguire give it to him. But we just didn't use him at all in the first half. So he only came, came into play later stages of the second half. And yeah. Um, and to finish off, oh well, subs. let's do the, let's do the subs really quick because a lot of a lot of them come in with like a few minutes ago, so it's got to be like an NA. Yeah. But Donny was the one who came on and probably had the most impact. Ronaldo what we given? The most oh, I forgot about Ronaldo. Yeah. Sorry, forgot. Actually, that that shows it. Forgot about Ronaldo. Um, Sixty or four, uh, fifty. Ronaldo, what do you make? Yeah. Well, he creates the opportunity for Rashford. Yeah. The only forward that looked like he was jumping for headers, made a couple of runs, but Shaw's not really offering himself enough. I don't know, um, five, five, six average performance. Didn't really, um, you know, there was times where we wanted him to have a shot, but then he plays it to Ericsson and then Ericsson has the good shot mm. and forces a save. He tried his best, yeah. I would say, and I, I can't criticise him for that. So I wish he should have maybe started a five, six. Yeah, I agree. I think he comes out of the game looking good, to be honest, like proving a point to Ten Hag because I think obviously the whole playing without him didn't work. No. Um, and he came on and he had a few chances and stuff and basically saying, listen, this is what 
you should have had from the start because at the end of the day, like not Bruno, but Ericsson didn't really offer much in terms of the false nine. So yeah, five or six, I agree. Like great ball for Rashford. I know in theory offside, but great ball. Um, I've said it before, we need him at the club. You can hate him as much as you want. You can say he doesn't want to be here, but what are the other options? What did we see today? Mm. We lost with him. What are we doing without him? Mm. <laughs> like we so it's about him. getting him fit and just yeah, getting I him mean, playing. Right? If we can get a replacement, then great. But we're Man United. How many weeks, how many weeks left for the transfer window? Are we going to replace him? Probably not. Yeah. So yeah, get him fit, get him firing, send him off to Portugal on holiday, get him back, get him scoring a hat-trick again when he comes back. Do whatever you need to to make Ronaldo happy and get him scoring goals for United. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I agree with the boys. Five or six, and he was the only one that looked some sort of like uh, attacking danger for us uh, when he came on. He gave us something. He was jumping for the balls. He, you know, he tried to link up with with the players in the midfield. He tried to link up with Rashford a bit. He tried to link up with Ericsson. Just wasn't happening. It was. I think. I think he should have started. In all honesty, I think that would have given us a lot more edge going going forward. But he didn't. And need him fit. I need him in this squad because as much as I've I've, I've Change my mind as yeah he can go which he can but we ain't got no one to There's rely on there, yeah. no one false nine false this there he needs to play simple as um donny impact um a little bit again when you compare fred and and, and when you yeah, compare exactly. fred better than that. much better than that and then and then you think to yourself you know maybe do you start the next game you know can you offer something for us maybe just pair one of them and then as someone like donny that's gonna try and create more for us so I, I don't know. It's, it's maybe a five six or, five, or something something quite average flex to be honest with you. I don't know five six. Yeah, you agree with that? Yeah, five. Fifteen minutes. It wasn't. Yeah, wasn't it wasn't. Not a lot. Five. Yeah. How you doing, guys? Yeah. 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 yeah five at most, really. Yeah. Didn't really make that much of an impact. But then he came into a team that was playing pretty poor, to be honest. Yeah. 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 No impact. Yeah. Five. I think, yeah. I think compared to the other players, I'd give him a six seven because as soon as he came on, you know, the header to Dalo, he's trying to link up, he's trying to make the runs off the ball, he's trying to find, he's trying to find space for for uh, Ericsson to find him. So yeah, he actually get, he I actually was impressed with him. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and lastly, really quickly, the manager. It's his first game, first Premier League game. Um, what does he get out of ten? Uh, for the decisions not paying off, he was bold. He went with his own thing of not playing Ronaldo when he was fit. He probably takes a bit of an L on this one, doesn't he? And maybe like a four, four or five. I don't really want to be too harsh because, listen, he's had a month with the players. Um, but at the end of the day, it's Brighton at home. We needed to kick off with a win, really, and we didn't. And he has to take some responsibility for that in his team selection. So, yeah, four. Yeah, I can agree with that as well. Luke Shaw, player that can you really trust that kind of player? Um, you know, we really thought Rashford turned it around because in pre-season he scored, had a captaincy armband as well. You know, he's, he, now he needs to, can he learn from this? You know, mm -hmm. can, can Ten Hag learn from this? Um, you know, trusted uh, uh, Fred in the pivot, didn't really perform for him today. Scott didn't really perform for him today. A lot of players didn't really perform to him to, for today. So yeah, let terms, him down massively. Yeah, let him down massively. So I, I would say an average five, but he needs to pick up from this now. And can he, can he change it around? <laughs> it's the funny thing is the players that he brought in are the ones that performed exactly and the players that he's got yeah. got, got from last season aren't exactly. the ones that performed so i don't know what he needs to do hair dryer or whatever but at the end of the day my thing is why are you bringing on so many subs at the last minute of the game what are you expecting you should know better you've got steve mclaren in there to tell you how the league is how brighton is right we, we had this conversation before we're, lo we're losing by one goal bring on the subs earlier and make them have an impact malasia barely even broke sweat Mm. That's that's why I came on and started fouling. People. Yeah, exactly. Came on, started giving away right. hey, fouls and stuff. And you need you need a, a good twenty minutes, you know, to settle in and and have an impact on the game. Mm. I think Ganacho, uh, Ghana, they, you know, Ghana should have definitely come on. In in my humble opinion, Ghana should have come on. Ganacho came on, gave us a little bit, but it was it was too little, too late. I think the manager he takes a four from me, three or a four. You have to be honest. Let us know what you guys are thinking about the play ratings. Were these guys too harsh? Were they too positive? Considering it was a bad result. Um, when you lose like this on the first day of the season it's always going to be mad negative until we start seeing some positivity and most of all some wins in it so there you go guys that's the play raters let us know if you guys agree or disagree in the comments below peace